Good morning, South Florida. I'm Maribel Rodriguez. And I'm Lauren Pastrana. Here's a look at some of your Monday morning headlines. Federal investigators are expected on the scene today in Doral, where a small plane went down on a busy road. That plane now on a side road at Northwest 89th Court, right off Northwest 25th Street. Investigators say the plane hit some trees and an Amazon truck after going down on the road. No one was hurt. Investigators are searching for clues after a triple shooting in Northwest Miami Dade's Brownsville neighborhood. Police worked three scenes last night. The first was inside an apartment complex near Northwest 54th Street and 19th Avenue, where police found a man who was shot and killed. Police say another victim was found seriously hurt outside the apartment complex, and a third victim was found wounded at a nearby funeral home. The two surviving victims are now in critical condition at Jackson Memorial Hospital. Police ordered travelers at Miami International Airport to freeze after a possible security breach. Investigators say a man inadvertently exited Concourse E and then came back in without being screened, prompting the freeze warning. Eventually, he was found and the freeze order was lifted. The young driver accused of hitting a golf cart on the MacArthur Causeway and seriously injuring a man is waking up in jail this morning. 20 year old Paloma Gelfi is facing several charges, including felony DUI. Police say a breathalyzer test so showed she was just under the legal limit, but that's so illegal because she is underage. Officers say the man she hit is critical and may not survive. And fans around the world are remembering iconic celebrity astrologer Walter Mercado. Mercado died of renal failure in his native Puerto Rico Saturday. He gained fame for delivering dramatic readings of horoscopes on Spanish language television in Puerto Rico, South Florida, and all across Latin America. He was also well known for his flamboyant outfits, his big jewelry, and his catchphrase. Above all, lots and lots of love. Mercado was 87 years old. And that's a look at some of your Monday morning headlines. Make sure to join us later for CBS 4 News at noon and get updates anytime on CBSMiami.com.